Hello, this is Trouble Lobster. <clears throat> Sorry. And today I'll be doing a review on the, uh, well, actually, Assassin's Creed Battle Pack. Uh, pretty cool. I think it's like $10. Not that expensive. Um, I like it. It comes with a lot for $10. I mean, for $10, you'd expect like a little mini turret or something, but this is actually really cool. Uh, mini figures. Okay, I won't take them off. But first, you get two of these black guys. They are. Elite Assassins, and, uh, they're pretty cool, actually. They blend in pretty well. And these three guys are just regular Assassin Droids, so that's pretty cool, too. Um, the manual isn't actually that big. It's, uh, really small, actually. You can build this in, like, ten minutes. It has the ads in the back, and, uh, you get all that stuff. Uh, well, actually, I, I could show you. Something new that we have here. We'll take one of these guys. Okay. They actually have a new arm. Um, as you can see, it's. Let me take this off so you can see. You can actually see it's straight now. Instead of it being like a a weird curved arm where the gun is sideways, it's actually straight now. So you can hold the gun like that. But I'm pretty sure you want to see the main part, which is the speeder. It's really cool. It has, um, these neat little things right here. These little, they're flick fires, but they, um, like purple. I, I, I don't know, it's like that kind of see-through color of purple. So that's pretty cool. But you can fit a guy in here. First of all, there's a pirate. Like guy right here. First, you take his rifle, the blaster, actually, put it in that little hole. Then you want to get the guy so his arm, so actually, what I do is first, I put his legs, oops, his arms are backwards. I put his legs in there first, so they fit under that bar. And then, uh, this arm just, uh, if you want it to, I mean, it doesn't have to, but it can, just latch on to that, that little bar. So it can just latch onto that if you want it to. But for the sake of time, I won't do that right now. It can get a little tricky. Now it sounds a little weird because it's just a bar. But Then it shows in the back. You actually want to take an elite assassin droid and put him in the back. I just do that. Keep one on one in there. Just one assassin and one elite assassin in there. So uh, that's that. You can put them in there. Their rifles just go in there really easily. Um, they like uh, it's like little holes. It's hard to explain, but they're like little holes. You get these pieces all the time, like little ordinary things. But then they just snap right on. It's like that simple. You'd think it'd be harder, but it's actually not. Let me just pose my guy here. It's hard doing this when I have one hand free. Like most other people. But, um, <clears throat> it's got a little tricky here. Come on, you little assassin. There we go. Okay. So, you can just put him in. Let me fix his legs. There we go. He just goes in right there. The top one can be a little tricky. I don't know why. I think it's just. Because the bar is closer to the seat. And there you go. He sits right in there. Um, these things are rubber. For some reason. I don't know why, but they're cool. And uh, actually attached separate pieces. So that's cool. And you got these. Uh, not really much inside. But that's pretty cool. Two little mini turret things right here. They don't shoot anything. Flick fires. Oops. Ooh, not good flick fire today. Ooh, I'm bad. There we go. Flick fire missile. Well, there's two of them. I'll, I'll give you a close up. The see through purple color. I like that. Kind of tint. Well, that is pretty much it for this review. Very short one. Again, it's um just $10. You can pick it up at Target. 
I had bought this at the Lego store when I bought my gunship. But, uh, yeah, that. Right there. Pretty cool. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be doing more reviews on awesome sets soon.